Hey, this is Anthony from Results TV. You can watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Dianese Mike leather jacket available at Revzilla.com. Right out of the gates, I love this jacket. This is Dianese taking premium 1.0 mil grade cowhide, taking CE rated pro shape armor in the shoulder and the elbow, and encapsulating it with a waxed finish that allows you to have a jacket that does not scream motorcycle, it does not scream armor, it does not scream CE rated protection. What it screams is a great style that absolutely has protection baked in. This is high vis Brian to my left wearing the black version. There's also a vintage brown. We might as well talk about fitment. HVB, six foot 195, 42 inch chest. He's wearing a size 52. It fits him spot on. Notice it's waist length, great line in the shoulders. And one of the things you're going to see is he's built not as extreme as I am, but he's got an athletic build. And what you're going to see here in the shoulder is they gave you that padding. It's at the top of the Pro Shape armor. They gave you that seam like a classic leather jacket, and you really can't tell there's armor in this guy. I absolutely love that. I love technical motorcycle jackets like the step up from this, which would be the Blackhawk CE rated. You know there's armor in it. I love that this is almost stealth mode and looks absolutely super premium like something Armani would come out with. Now, remember, if you're concerned about sizing, we ship for free over 39 bucks. You can always give us a shout. And really, click right up there. Subscribe to us at Revzilla TV on our YouTube channel. Leave me your comments, your questions, and your feedback about the mic jacket. Now let's dive into the nuance. Premium Dianese leather. You're going to notice that there's no perforation and there's no vents. That's by design. It's intentional. Spring, fall, little bit of summer, maybe a little bit of winter. As it gets colder, you're going to beef up whatever liner you have on the inside. But again, no direct ventilation. And I don't believe there's any plans to have a perforated version as well. That's where they're going like this. If you want something that's a little bit more functional, versatile, Dianese has a full line. Now, if we look at the collar, you're going to have the embossed Dianese logo. It's a stand-up collar, classic motorcycle style, beefy premium zippers that have their own style to them as well. And notice the way they've used the stitches and brought it together. Very intentional, very classic motorcycle inspire. Hand warmer pockets on the side. And if we come down here, you are going to see a slight articulation in the arms. And if we bring his arm forward here, basic snap and zipper. And notice there is going to be a gusset of leather behind that, again, keeping you a little bit safer. It's nice that they did that. Notice you're getting the, the embossed poles as well. Hi, Ms. Brian, go that away. This is, again, I'm gonna home back in on it. This is what I love about this jacket. Pro Shape Armor, underneath this panel of a little bit of temper foam to smooth it out. Pro Shape Armor's thin, it's hexagonal, it's got those different little bubbles on it. What they've done here is they've made sure that it kept its clean line. I'm not gonna call this a shoulder pad like you see up here, but I will call it a pad here. Additional protection always, and then you're getting the CE armor underneath, but it's not throwing off the style of the jacket. Moving down the sleeve, contrast stitching. Again, you're going to have nice clean line pulling it together. And if he raises his arm, you're gonna notice again, there's not a lot going on here. You're gonna see a, a basic adjuster down here along the hip, but if we look right along his shoulder blade, there's not going to be an expansion panel. There's no room for really reaching for extreme controls. That's a choice they made. They said this is more of a fashion jacket with armor versus an armored jacket that looks great. So again, you'd have to switch out of this if you want to go into a jacket that has stretch panels or accordion or micro, micro elastication. Turn backwards for me. What's nice about this jacket is part of the new school collection from Dianese. It's going to take a Manus back insert, which is their newer school armor. It's a little more, lower, more low profile, but still protective. Notice, stitch Dianese logoing up across the top and the back with a nice roll that's in contrast. And that, that nice wax sheen really comes through. You can see the finish of the leather. Very soft, very premium. It doesn't feel like some of the more aggressive armor that we see for other uses. This has a great feel to it. And notice the way it comes down. There's going to be a jeans loop in the back, but not a 360 zip. Now, Hybris Brian, come this way and stop right there. I want to get a shot of the arm. The only Dianese logoing you're seeing on this jacket is on the button buttons on the back of the collar, and then you have your embossed metallic city collection Dionese demon that they happen to put on the left, left arm. Again, great style. Come back to the front for me there, HVB. Now open it up. One of the things I want to call out they did really, really well here, while I call this out a spring and fall, really temperate season riding, what you see here is the 3D bubble liner, which they were the first to develop. And what it does is it creates a microclimate in the jacket. So when it gets a little chilly, these little bubbled areas are going to actually trap and maintain your body heat. And when you start to overheat, what they do is they, uh, they allow for areas for that excess heat and air to get trapped. So they're going to be allow that perspiration to get wicked and come off of your body. So again, you get a nice, cooling as well as warming effect from the jacket by creating a tuned microclimate to really the comfortable range of the human body. Dianese sometimes does it in the backs of their jackets. Here on the mic, they do it throughout. And for the temperature range of this jacket, I actually think it's quite appropriate. I would say they would go with mesh. It was perforated, but it's not perf. So again, you get to go to that upgraded liner. And notice on the inside of the collar, you don't need to go taffeta, you don't need to go fleece, you don't need to go neoprene. 
the waxing of this leather is just so soft that it's gonna be comfortable against you regardless. So again, we like it. It's not gonna break the bank. It's around that $600 mark. From here, you're going into the Blackhawk. The next step in your journey is to click right here, read other rider reviews of the Mike leather jacket from Dionese at RevZilla.com. You don't have to take my word for it. As always, we're gonna ship for free. And if you wanna talk to a gear geek, see us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Remember, subscribe to us at RevZilla TV, our YouTube channel. I'm Anthony, we'll see you next time.